Hey, it's me, Lee. And today I'm going to be trying our Tesa supplies. I have some sketchbooks, paintbrushes, and their gouache. I have tried some Arteza supplies before. I've used acrylic gouache and Winsor & Newton gouache. So I kind of have a little bit to compare it to. So we'll see what we think. I'm not very picky, so let's do it. I have these fine lining brushes. I will probably use some larger brushes of my own as well because I can't do full paintings with these, but I got some fine liners. They sent me a cold press watercolor sketchbook. I'm excited to try this. I like the size and it's hardcover. I usually use a soft cover sketchbook, which gets a little ruined. It's not as durable and it's bound and opens very flat. So I'm excited to try that. Here's the gouache. There are 60 colors in here. My current selection of gouache that I own only I have I have probably like 10 colors total maybe maybe like I might be pushing it with 10 um, so this will be fun this will be real fun I just opened all the gouaches for the first time. There are an exchange. There's an in, in yikes. There's an insane amount of colors in in here. I didn't really realize how many 60 were when I read 60 on the box, but there's a ton. So I think I'm just gonna select a few colors to work with at first, and then maybe try another few colors on an, another something. I uh, just filled up my palette, realized I picked two of the pearl ones. I didn't even know there were pearl, um, shiny, sparkly ones in this. So I picked two different colors that are not pearl, if I don't like them, but I'm gonna try them anyways, so. So I just swatched them. The first thing I noticed was the sketchbook, like on certain spreads, like there's no texture on the paper. And then on other spreads, there, there is texture on the paper. It kind of seems like it's in a pattern. I don't know if that's intentional, but I don't mind having smooth and textured paper in a sketchbook. Loving that it opened flat. Open, bleh, loving that it opened flat. Loving that. Swatched all these babies. And the metallic ones, aren't like super shiny, but they just have a little like slight metallic tinge to them. So I think I'm gonna use them anyways. I think they're, they don't like stand out or shine too much. So I don't like them. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to, to, you know, paint something. I think I'm going to um, maybe reference some photos I took yesterday. I went to see some cherry blossoms. Didn't really pick the right colors for it, but I'm gonna do it anyways. <laughs>
started recording the video, I have worked in the sketchbook with Arteza gouache and the fine liner brushes a few times. I did a few spreads because as I said that there were smooth pages and textured pages all mixed in here and I want to test them out. I did test out this spread is all smooth paper. This one is all textured and this one is smooth and textured. I do like the textured better. The smooth side didn't dry as fast, which I like to work really fast, so that didn't really work for me, but I would not mind using a different media on the smooth side of the paper and then using water-based media on the textured side, which I find is fairly common in a lot of sketchbooks. My favorite sketchbook is the Strathmore Mixed Media Paper sketchbook. I've mentioned in a lot of videos and that one has like a steady texture throughout the whole book, which I like. The favorite part about it, it opens flat. Love that. Stirrable cover, great. I don't know if I showed you guys, but it has like a canvasy fabric texture and has this band that goes around it and a marker string. The paper does buckle a bit underwater, but that does not bother me. I find that in almost every sketchbook that it buckles at least a bit, but I think it's nice that it's hard cover and then you can put this around it and it will flatten the pages. So I think I will continue to use this and experiment with different media. I have not tried anything but gouache in it, but I'm excited to try it. I like the size of it. It's good. Will it replace my favorite sketchbook? Probably, maybe not. I'm not sure yet, so we'll see. But I like it fine. The fine liners. These are comparable to pretty much any fine liner I've ever used. I've used the My Artscape um, fine liners, which I did a review video before. I don't think there's any like superior fine liners. The hairs didn't fall out of these. They just worked fine. So, I mean, if you are ordering from Arteza already and want some fine liners, get them. Um, I don't think they are better or worse than any other fine liners I've ever used. And then the gouache. I've used um, maybe like 10 of the colors. I did notice that some of the darker pigmented colors dried chalky. Um, I did not try every six, all 60 of the colors, but um, a couple of the darker tones I used were a little chalky. I found that when you mixed them, it wasn't the color I expected them to be. I mixed a darker blue and a red tone and it turned kind of brown. Um, I was expecting it more purpley. I don't know if I don't know if I, I mean, maybe I just expected it to be different and it wasn't, whatever. Yeah, I'm used to a very small set of gouache and mixing my own colors. And it was interesting using ready-made a uh, whole set of colors and just picking them out and using them. Yeah, I think they were comparable to any other gouache I've used before that is re um, That just excludes acrylic gouache, which is just acrylic based and it dries and you can't re-wet it and reuse it. Yeah, pretty much the only downside I saw was the chalky dark colors I use. I use a couple of those. But if I was going to buy gouache as a first time user, or I wanted to just get a new set, or I don't, I don't know if I wanted to buy gouache at all, I would definitely invest in just Windsor Newton gouache and get four to five colors, like primary colors and mix my own. It might help you work on color theory. I don't think a set of 60 paints is necessary. Um, this is extreme to me, but it, it's fun because they sent it to me just to try, but would I buy it? No. I assume they probably have some smaller sets, but um, definitely fun to try, would not buy. This is a personal preference. I prefer to mix my colors. I think it helps me with color theory. Um, if you want to get these, they're fun. They work almost the same, and if you don't like mixing paint, these might be for you. That concludes my review. I hope it was helpful. If you are looking for any of the spots I talked about, I will put links to them in the description. Thank you again, Arteza, for letting me try these products. They have been so fun and I will continue to use them. And that's it. If you liked the video, found it helpful, anything, give it a thumbs up. I love that, it's so cool. And if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs up, you know what I'm saying. And I will see you some other time. Bye. Say bye, this. He smells like dirt.